Hey guys, it's Eric from Hacks, Tuts, and More, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a lightsaber effect in Sony Vegas Pro 8.0. And I'll start tell you this right now, if you do not have the version of Sony, then this tutorial is not for you, because you need a certain... Um, you see a certain thing called masking, and that is not available in any of the versions other than 8.0. So let's get started. Well, I was too lazy to film a test video, so I'll just get a solid color, and we'll pretty much work from there. Alright, so I just have a white background, and I want a red lightsaber. Actually, I'll get a black background, because it'll make the effect look cooler. So I'll get a black background. And then I will get a red background. Now what you want to do is you want to click the event, pan slash crop tool, and open up masking. And then you just want to draw a simple rectangle, like so. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then all you have to do is pretty much like um, keyframe it in, move, move it around a little bit. Act like it's actually moving. Like so. And you might just want to like make it move faster, I guess so. Uh, yeah. Whoops. And that's about good. It's for tutorial purposes only. Alright. So now what you want to do is you want to get a white background in there. Oops. Nope. Actually, do not do that. My bad. You want to click that and press Control C. And then you go to the thing below it and you press Control V. What I just did is I copied and pasted it. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And I'm going to change this color to white. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now you go to the event pen slash crop, and everything that's being masked is right below it. So what you want to do is you want to click feather and both, and then just feather out until it gives you a nice glowing effect. All right. And then you might just want to feather this a little bit. Oops. Because it looks too rough. And it is not all feathered. So you just want to feather it for everything. Eight. What I'm just doing is I'm setting the feather to eight for all of the um, keyframes for the red. So now you get a, oops, now I need to do it for the white. And you set it to 8. Actually, no, you need to set all the whites to 20. Yeah, 20 is good. Now you just want to move it. Actually, this would have been easier just typing it in. I did not think of that. And there you go. You have a cool looking lightsaber. And of course you could tweak the um the fade for the feather for the red or the white to match it. And of course, if you don't like red, you could change it to whatever color you want and it works either way. 
Well, I hope this tutorial has been good for you. I am Eric, and um, check out my page and subscribe. Thanks for watching.